All right, no my hooky my. Welcome back to another episode of the Kiwi NRL podcast. Today in the fuddy, we've got your boy Sam Optimus Brill. How are you, bud? Good man. Bit 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 slow off the weekend, but a bit dusty. We're 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 trudging through. A few cobwebs. Still got a few, few cobwebs. Eh? So, and then also yeah. we've got off the pine, the bench long awaited return after blowing the old biffkin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. That's a good uh, six month injury. Uh, we've got Hums or Hamuera. How are you, brother? All good. Good man. Good. Good to be back. Currently, you're in a Samuel Samuel sandwich at the moment. This is a Samuel that sandwich. Is. Yep. Because <laughs> Hamuera is mouldy for Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> Much more solid front bench this week. <laughs> How are you today, anyway, mate? Oh, I'm actually great. Thank I'm you. I'm actually going to ask you today, so. I'm actually I'm pumped because we've got a yep. big week for the pod this week. Huge. Got our meeting with New Zealand Rugby League on Wednesday, so it's going to be a fun time. And uh, and of course, Mouldy, uh, pretty much most of them all stars, versus the Indigenous kind of mostly all stars team. But regardless, it's going to be a mean game. So yeah, hissing for that. We're down there on the Friday night, and the Saturday we're going to do a live pod. It's about eighty nine point five percent locked in to be at the Ruck and Mall on one pm on the Saturday pre the game. So come on down. Um, you know, you're probably going to be having a bet anyway, so we'll be there. We'll do a live party. People can jump in. I guess depends what you like. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just be, a, you know, you've got to have a little bit about you. Um, so we're down there from 1 p.m. to about 2.30. So if you're lost for things to do before the game, come on down to the Ruck and Mall and buy us a beer. Definitely um, buy us a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Need to save all the pennies. It's going to be an expensive weekend, so. Yeah, she's going to be a big one. But of course, got a shout out to the main sponsor, FitZone. Uh, once again, keeping the lights on, keeping the beers cold. Uh, they have four-week challenge starts. Actually, tomorrow. It's still not too late. Just get to the website, fitzonenz.com. You can register. doesn't matter if you're not in Matamata, Te Aroha, Paira, or Waihi. You can be in Timbuktu. You could be in Wodonga. Mm. Zimbabwe, whatever. Mm, correct. I wish Online. I was in Wodonga today, actually. Huh? Wodonga was on today. Why do I know Wodonga? All oh, the doggies. Yeah. Dog, yeah, no, no, it was, it was horses. Harness. No horses. Or just horses. Just the normal horses. Just normal sure. no, no, Normal gals and longer. Yeah, I'll pretend he didn't know. <laughs> Got no idea. <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what you're about, him, mate. No, I know nothing on trackside, too. I know nothing about it. <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, that's right. So it's, the challenge is available. Get to the website. If, if you are in Matamata, Te Aroha, Paida, or Waihi, go on down to the local fit zone. Four weeks of the best. Get to it. Tidy up the rig, tighten it up. You'll be looking like Sean Johnson at the start of the season. Beast. This season. Yeah, this season, yeah. Let's a doom. Well, we'll, do, we'll be hopefully hopefully the speed's there for SJ, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, get down to fit zone. All right, uh, this week we've got the plug they did not ask for is back. My favourite, I think it's my favourite segment. I'm actually really starting to enjoy this segment. So do I. Um, I'm going to punish this little starter first. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting thirsty again. No, I won't. I'll... I can just park that for now. Um, yep. Sweet. So who is it? What do we got? What do we got, Sammy? So we've got um, good, good George Brewing Co. Hordy Pie. Nice. Ooh. So we've got the Hazy Pie Ale, Dick nice. here, which is actually a fan favourite. It is a fan favourite. So I can't even open this box. It's a little bit. It's one of Sam. Sam's always battled to get into a box. Get in, get in there, boy. <laughs> um, also, one of my favourites, Fog, yeah. Fog City. I'm a, oh, Fog City. Yeah, I'm a, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah a, okay. I'm a lady of the night when it comes oh, to Fog my. City. And then one I haven't tried is Hazeltron, actually. So Hazel- bit, Yep. That'd be right up your alley. Yeah, I know. I've, I just, just didn't even know it existed, but... Mixing yeah. a hazy with um, Decepticons. Megatron. <laughs> All right, okay. Cool. So um, I'm going to go for a Hazitron because I haven't tried it, so... I haven't tried that either. Have you No, no, no. That's just... Oh, I've had the Fox City. You've had, and you've had Dick Chew too. Yeah, no. Okay, we'll both try this. Yeah, we'll go. go. And of course, the bro's on 75 yeah, so hard. Yeah. So it's... Uh, we'll, we'll share this. Do you want to rate your Sprite? Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about your no sugar. Yeah, I'm no gonna sugar, sugar sprite. sprite runs all right. <laughs> Does the job. Shit, they might they might share. I reckon. Coca Cola Company. Yeah, yeah so like, this. It's, it's it's annoying because it's 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 not a no hairy box. You know, it's not a hairy box. But I mean, you can't beat the hairy box. I I'm, know. I just it's just great great I, marketing. It is, but a hazy beer box will go. Hazy box. Hazy box. All right, let me have a cut of this. Mm. That sound that sounded like the um hits from a bong. <laughs> Starting to that. Ding, yeah. ding, ding, <laughs> ding. <laughs> oh, listen. 
I'd say that's juicy, tropical and seasonable. I've had a few hazies this weekend and over the hill, around town, around, and I've and I'm enjoying that. No, it's very good. Damn it. Very good. They're very good. The last thing I need is another hazy to enjoy, to be fair. I mean, it's pretty hard not to enjoy anything, to be honest. I love it. Yeah. This is the beer of tomorrow you can drink today. Made in Hamilton. Oh, yeah, the Tron. That's obviously where the Hazel Tron comes from. Um. What do you reckon out of ten? What would you give that? Um, I'm I'm going a solid eight, definitely, definitely a solid eight. Eight point five. Yes, you can taste the river water in there. Any subtle notes in there, or pretty? Ah, uh, there's. I'm just trying to put my finger on it's, it. It's, I'm trying to hopefully it says um, you know just juicy tropical and seasonal like our hometown. Let me put my finger on it and I'll look at the back. Um, hopefully hmm. it's got nothing in there that Hamilton's known for, but it's. What's that? <laughs> For the Chiefs. The old year. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. Haughty no, pie. Yeah, mean. Good George. Good stuff. Car pie. Great stuff. And you're already going to get it when I go into the Fox Oh, we already, the Fox yeah. already gets yeah. it. It's yeah. probably my favourite yeah. hazy. So yeah. it's 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's a, they actually do another one. I, I, f- I forgot to bring it actually. My, my bro was drinking it when I was doing a bit of trout fishing on the weekend. And um, Trout fishing? Yeah. Okay. Just trout slow, man. Slaying the trout. It was like this big. It was awesome. But what uh, about the fish? <laughs> Yeah, it was um, it actually it was actually really nice. It was another good George one as well. So, anyway, good George, you can find them yep. pretty much everywhere. Um, originally from Hamilton, so good local drop if you're in the Waikato. All right, better move on to what we hear about. Let's go. All right, so we got Maldives versus Indigenous All Stars this Saturday, five something p.m. in Rotorua. Um, we'll just get some th- first. We're just going to get some thoughts about. How the lads feel about everything that's going on with the... Do you mm. want to go first, Sam? Yeah, so it's it's been a mixed bag of emotions, I think, the last week um, with, with, the, with the team namings and put people pulling out and, you know, it's, you know... Insp- I don't know, I'm I'm struggling to comprehend actually what, you know... Are, are they doing it for, you know, for the clubs? You know, the clubs yeah. got too much input to what they actually, mm. you know, and... Or they're just doing it for for themselves to make sure they have a good good. Obviously, there's no monetary thing in it for them. Obviously, the the money thing is there, but um, they want the money, yeah. get the mana. Mm. Mm. And obviously, the Charles thing on, and Jack One thing that's been a little bit of a brawl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was just a, a few our friends having a few beers and had a wrestle afterwards. Had a bit of a cut away, and then they got arrested. So yeah, what do you reckon, Hums? Like, how are you feeling? I'm fizzing still. You know, it's um. Yes, we're getting to watch. Um, well, you know, we're going to be there watching Literally. live live rugby league, and that's right. In, 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 in a week's time, or yeah. under a week now. So just um, up the road too. I spent an hour today just just running all the mouldy huckers, the war cries, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty g'd up. Obviously, it does suck having those uh, key players out, but um, it chance, gives, chance gives, for some other guys, right? Gives those young ones a chance and a chance to represent their their culture, and um, yeah, it's good to see the. Good to see it in New Zealand. They obviously answered Cody Nikorima's uh, request end of last year. They said, you know, get it to New Zealand. That's right. He did yeah. say that. So, um, yeah, we got it. So, where are, where are you, mate? No. And, and the actual, <laughs> actually, the, 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 the yeah. <laughs> now nah, you're right. Uh. The, the actual good thing you're about right, all uh. the all these fresh faces coming through is one for us. It's it's, it's good to see those young up and comers live. And yeah, we, yeah. We can actually, you know, oh, it's great. And we get to actually, yeah. you know, physically, yeah, you know, like I said, see them. But it's. You know, it puts a name to a face, and yeah. you know, it makes it easier for us to talk to them, talk about them. Chance so. for them to put themselves out, out yeah. there to the world. Like you're playing, you're still playing with the likes of James Fisher Harris, Joseph Tarpany. You know, oh yeah, the big boys are There's still, still there. There's still some fucking big names there, yeah. man. some epic yeah. names in the team. Yeah. So it's it's not like no one's going. A um, little bit, you know, yeah, a little bit disheartened, but hey, just got to bring that positive energy. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck yeah. People are. Oh, I might not go. Might not go. Need to fill the stand still, so get down there, regardless. Hey, even if old, even if this these jokers had to play, I'd still go watch. Yeah, you know, I still pay the same amount for my ticket. Ish. Yeah. Would you want a refund though? Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you both get smoked, it'll be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen an indigenous war cross. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's true. 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 Um, that's a real good point. Never just just of that. that atmosphere of the you know the first twenty odd minutes. It's something we'll never. Unless we go and watch another one, obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. your pro will never see it again in your in your life. So um, yeah, great to have that in New Zealand because I'm not sure when's that has that ever been done in New Zealand like the ab- Aboriginal thing because the huckers yeah, been done fucking hundreds yeah. of times in Australia. No, yeah, well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't think I've heard or seen it. I've, obviously, there must be some 
There would have been some sort of occasion, but yeah, not so professional. But brought to the the amount of you know the, you know the NRL All Star. And I think they're doing it right, yeah. being in Rotorua as well, but just because yeah. obviously the, col- yeah. the cultural the cultural thing is is so massive it's there. Like pretty much the cultural uh, multi like yeah. multi cultural centre centre of New Zealand, basically. Yeah. And I'm quite happy it's down the road. So easy, easy, easy dub. Looking forward to it. Still, um, looks like Trail and Jack White are still on the bus. I've seen them when the gears getting on the bus, so yeah, they must be yeah, coming yeah. still. Epic, um, which is great. But it's going to be hard, Mahi, for the Maldi boys with that stack lineup out the back. Um, they're mm. obviously missing the Fox, though. He's pulled out. So yeah, mm. but they've still got Cody and um, was Jack one going to be? Oh no, Cody no. and Nico Hines. Oh my N- gosh, N- Nico Hines. Yeah, that's just yeah. He'll, he'll be. He'll that's be the old halves combo. That's like that's pretty good. So. Jeez, if, if we can if we can get an interview one of those indigenous players, I'll be super stoked, eh? Right. Yeah, if you're watching. Let's get it done, man, yes. Nico. No, not the old fake ones too, the Kazi from Rotorua. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm indigenous. Oh, eh? Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Nico Hine. Nico Hine. Are you sure? What the real Nico? Yeah. What the Nico? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be it, but he was hanging out with Dan Carter on the weekend yeah, or see doing that. a bit of training with the boys. So yeah. Just cut him out to the Warriors too, Dan, when you you yeah, I caught a bit of heat because I commented on the old um, Nathan Cleary one. Did I you? was like, what would you say, mate? I said, surely, no, all I didn't say Warriors. It's just surely, surely you um, hung out with a couple of the Kiwi boys while you are there. Yeah. Surely. This summer gave me a bit of a bit spray, of, but. A bit of a telling. But, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I think, like, Nathan Cleary doesn't need more help on how to beat the Warriors and the Kiwis team. Nah. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that, Daniel. <laughs> I still love you, Daniel. Still love you. You're the goat. Get down there. Or get up. <laughs> South Orks. I think he's, is he living in Oz now? Uncle Dan? Yeah. DC. Gee, I'm not sure. Actually. Might nah, be. Surely not. He's, yeah. got, he's got to do those bloody, um, those, what are they, chemist warehouse heads in New Zealand, yeah. isn't he? So. You could do them anywhere, bro. Yeah. Green screen. <laughs> um, sweet. So, it'd be pretty hard, but, you know, if you're going to get the ball out, get the balls out. The crystal balls, give them a rub. Mm. Who's winning? By how much? Very hard to do, but it's hard. Like, like we talked about it last week on the party about the f- the forwards and the backs. The dynamics of both teams are s- completely different. And I guess in a game of rugby league, you win the game up front first, and then mm. you know if you don't you don't you don't you don't have the fucking the popos up front, you, you, you know you're gonna get rolled. Basically, you're gonna get rolled. So on, on that precipice, I, th- I think it's definitely. Uh, a Māori All-Stars victory, for sure. How Score, much? I don't know. Give us a margin, mate. Uh, I'll go 32-26. I think I've changed it up from what, what I said, 28-17 last week or something a like that. A lot of points, a lot of points. Mm. What do you reckon? What yeah. do you reckon, Hums? Hey, who's who's winning? How much? Back in my Māori's. Um, back Jared? in my Māori's. It'll be a close game. I'm I'm, in, I'm thinking by four. It'll just be a try on it. A try on it. It'll be pretty even the whole game. I think, you know, there'll be a bit of rust. It's obviously the boys are just... Coming off pre-season, you can't expect too much structure, so I think it might be just by four. I think it'll be quite tight, and it won't be high scoring, but we'll, we'll just see. I'd love it if they the prove day. me wrong, but it's just, um, yeah, I, I can't see them. Just it's, it's Everyone's thrown together for a week, so it's hard to kind of get them all to yeah. deal instantly, but yeah, that's, that's, that's I think prediction. that's where the um, the ki- uh, the Māoris have that little bit of combination with the Kiwis as well, mm. with the yeah. Ford pack, so yeah. I'm going to yeah. say... Because um, it's rusty, you know, that's usually when the backs aren't going that well. Yep. And if you've got sh- the sharpest backs, it's kind of like, if you're throwing together the last minute, you want the best forward pack. Yeah, so I'm 100%. Going, I'm going Maldies by six. And, oh no, that's the best bet later. I'll say what that is. <laughs> but you're up the Maldies. Up the Maldies. Do, do, do you reckon each team will have a trick play? You know, you just have to. Like this, you know, the I'd wall, love the, it if they the, did. The wall or something, you know. Oh, just, yeah. That, you that, know. They should bring... They should give bonus points if they can bust out a you know like bust out a wall. It should be power plays turn into like a bit of an exhibition type <laughs> yeah. Yeah. barbarians kind of mentality game would be quite cool yeah, to hard. see eh? like even just like an early kick would be good yeah well <laughs> first you know. first tackle kick eh? yeah first tackle yeah. kick bang yeah. it and just sprint <laughs> just turn it into a real spectacle eh? it'll be it'll be good for the game you know like how the nines done there hit the score in the middle in the of the zone. Yeah, 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 the they zone. could probably it's a good things idea, like that and yeah. if they choose to take their kick from the sideline they it's a three point conversion or you know, I don't oh, know. Yeah, so bring some of those yeah. um nines rules in. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. Eh? Just turn it into a bit of a Yeah. Because you know. like you say, they'll be quite rusty, so you're just trying to 
um, make it a bit more exciting. Yeah. But it's always exciting, but, you know, adding another layer to it, another layer, if you will. I'll give you a tip. I think we get to, when we get to a point, uh, I say about, you know, after we go from the pub, I think we'll be on a completely different level. I think we don't give a shit what the, what the game's going to be like. <laughs> We're just going to be too excited <laughs> to be there anyway. Yeah. I know for a fact I will be. Yeah. Excitement levels through the roof. Be busting through me pants. <laughs> Please not. Hopefully I'm not in the same room as you then. Take the spare pants. <laughs> um, yeah, I reckon Kiwis get it done. Oh, Maldives get it done, sorry. Uh, sweet. Um, oh, on to the next section. So last week, the new segment we had was Kiwis <laughs> versus Kiwis. <laughs> Shout out to Jan. Looking at my spelling mistake. Um, so this we're just going to change up a little bit because of the Maldives All-Star game this week. I'm going to say Maldives, get Maldives versus Maldives. Um, so we've got the Maldives All-Stars team of 2010 going up against the Maldives All-Stars team mm. of 22, which is last year. Tasty. So um, mm. oh, you've got the teams there, eh? I've got them. Do you want to run through, if you don't mind, Hamueta, just through the uh, 2010 team? Yeah, kia ora, kia ora. 2010 squad, so we had Kevin Locke, fullback. Yes. Uh, we had Sandor Earl, sorry, one wing. Oh, hot boy. Temana Tahu, one of the one of the greats. One of the actual greats. Hey? Pe- what a pe- player. Paired with this other centre, I think is outstanding. The captain Clinton Torpy. Oh, <laughs> Clinton Torpy. <laughs> That's two goats in the centres, man. Shuffle of doom. Um, number five, Kane Money Hitter. Oh, not sure. Pass. He's not even doesn't look like he's affiliated to an NRL club. But there's no colours, but shout out to Kane. You made the cut. I think he played for Bukio. Possibly. No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, number six, Arana Tomata, the bad yes, boy. The bad he boy. He must have gone through seven or eight Jeez, in our He just clubs. had so many shots and he was just, he looked brilliant. He was. He could have, yeah, he could have. Just, he could have gone. But he, I think he's doing, uh, I'm sure he's doing player management now. Something like that, yeah, yeah. So Arana Tomata was the 5'8, uh, paired up with uh, Rangi Chase. Oh, Rangi Chase. Rangi Chase. You know, an English Maori. Yeah. yeah. He, he played for England, eh? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. He was good, he was handy. He was good handy. player, good player, man. Aaron Hedemeyer, hooker. He, that, oh, he was Aaron good. Aaron I yeah. rated him at the Warriors. He was I was good, gutted man. when he left. Shit. He was good. He was good. good Did he get a Kiwis test? Nah, not quite. I can't remember. He must have been close a couple of times. He was good. He, was, he he just done his role. He was consistent. Yeah. Never, um, you know, he wasn't outstanding, outstanding, but he definitely always done his job. That's right. Um, we got big Russell, Russell Packer in Russell front. Russell Packer, big Russ. We had Weller. Hauraki. Well, a Hauraki. He's a big boy, eh? Big Skip made that team. Justin Horo. Horo. Um, skip a scope. <laughs> yeah, out. yeah. And uh, Bodine Thompson was uh, Ooh. 13. Bodine, he's a good player, man. On the back there. So well, not, not a bad team at all. And then on the bench we had the, the man, Jeremy Smith. Couldn't get a start. Crazy. Kevin Proctor, he would have been pretty young back then. Yeah, he would have been young as. Pre-vape, so. <laughs> Pre vape. Sam Pre-vape. Sam McKendry, he was oh, he would have been very young, young too. Big boy. Yep. And got old Earl's collection, Louis Brown. Lewis. So they would have been pretty in there. It's a yeah, stacked it's team. That's a pretty is. stacked team. All yeah. right. Yeah. Run us through the Maldives of twenty two, mate. Twenty two, what a great squad this was. Out the back we had Jordan Rapana. At fullback. Fullback. Oh yep. nice, nice. Fully. I don't mind him at fullback. He's hearty. He's hearty. Uh winger Morgan Harper from the uh The pool egg. cleaner. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Walker, one centre, and Remus Smith, the other one. Ah, oh, Remus Smith. He's, he's up for a big year this year. He is. He is definitely up for a big year this year. Paddy Herbert, Patrick Herbert, one wing. Uh-huh. Sherbert. Yeah, this is what helped us last year. We had Chanel, Harris DeVita, and Cody Nicorima in the halves. Just, mm. you know, they knew each other pretty well. That combo. Yeah, they actually both played really well that game last year. Yeah, they did. The, the man of the match was obviously Joseph Tarpini. He was out of both oh, teams mate. he won. He, was, he just dominated that game. Aaron Clark, hooker. Big season for him this year too, I reckon. Clarky. Yeah. Yep. yep. I, th- I say he'd be playing 13. Surely he's playing 13. He has to be. He has he's to got be. the sort. He's, he's a big boy too. Because I think man. he's always played 13 and then they made him into a hooker just yeah. to fill a gap. Oh. So that Quite means sharp. if you move him into 13, it means he's got ball skills. But yeah. 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 Well, his mum's Timmy Putter George, eh? That's right. Yep. So it's good genetics. Shout out Timmy Putter. The old um, crush. The old netball crush. Yeah, she was she was a good good netballer. Um, James Fisher Harris, the man, number ten. The Gish. Big Kenny Bromwich, eleven. K Brom. Britton Nikora, twelve. Oh, that's a good um comeback. And Uncle Jazzy. Oh Jazzy. Tevaga. Jazzy was at the thirteen, nice. He was. 
You go on the bench, mate. On the bench, we had Isane Masters. Oh, at 14, interesting. Isane, is it Isane? Oh, yeah. Isane, yeah. Isane Masters, sorry, my bro. Uh, Royce Hunt. TC Robati. TC Robati, I see he's in a bit of trubs. Kevin Proctor, is he? named. Yeah, he's, is he? he's done at the Broncos. Oh, true. That was his oh, last that's strike. Right. Yeah, there was something, oh, eh? Yeah. Fuck. I don't know what happened, but it's his last strike, so but it's a bit unfortunate. And, yeah. Uh, Kevin Proctor is in this one as well as the two teams. Still not in the starting old halftime vape. <laughs> Tukuho Tapuha. From the Roosters. Unit. Massive. Is unit. It? Yeah, bro. He's unit. Unit. unit like nice. Google him. Yeah. Nice. He's, he's going to be good too, man. He's going to be good. Sweet. There you go. Watch watch the space with Tuku. Uh, Jada Nikorima and Wurumu. Wurumu Greg. Greg. Not in the squad this year. What's doing? I just want the bro to get a crack. It's yeah. a big unit. It goes well. All right. It's our squads. All right. So what we've got to do, so if you don't mind bringing that back up again. Um, actually, I'm going to have to, this is what I didn't think about. I need a pen and paper. need that pen and paper. Just so you can write down who wins the battle. Um, there's some other paper over here, brother. Or on the back of that. No, you're right, Roggy, Roggy. Roggy, Roggy, all right. So who's our fullbacks? Who we got? Kevin Lock. You got Kevin Lock? Joseph Manu. No, I mean... <laughs> Jordan, playing, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm Jordan Rapa. I know, I know. Oh, okay. So who are you taking? Who wants to have a crack at that first? Okay. Kevin Lock, man. Kevin Lock? And that time... That time he was... Yeah, yeah he so was that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what i got to remember. Is and that's how we're basing it. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. From yep. that actual game, yep. like the point that we were in their career, yep. or are, and how they actually played in the game yep. too. Yeah. So you got K-Lock, who are you going? I'm going Raps. I'm going Raps. Okay, we've got Jordan Rapana and then one for Kevin Lock. So I've got the tie break. Now, <laughs> see Jordan, the thing with Rapana, he's always... Um, Especially like since he came back to league, eh? He's consistently like performs at a pretty good level. Yeah. Like a high level. Yeah. Yeah, he's an effort player, man. Whereas Kevin Locke, although he didn't have the consistency that he had, he's probably had better like moments, like, you know, where he's done some real crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for that um that goal pad that he hit, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, that was that, decent. That, oh. I, th- I think I was over in England when I watched that happen. Yeah, yeah. that was down in Christ. Yeah, 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 the game was in Christ. Body yes, on yes, the yes, line, sure. body on the line oh, to win the game, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah. That we won. Yeah. yeah. How he didn't break his back, I don't know. Yeah, that folded was. himself around that goalpost. Oh. Um, poor Kevy. Yeah, poor bugger. I think yeah for that game, and then yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll go Kevin Lock. Just K Lock is locked. K- is locked in. Oh, and it starts writing Jordan Rapano. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Put the right. team out tomorrow, and they'll say, "Hey, you said Kevin." All right, winger number two, Sandor Earl, nice Morgan Harper, Sandor Ooh. Earl for me straight away. Both both bringing a bit of. Oh no, like Morgan Harper's probably more the pool cleaner, and Sandor Earl would be on the lounger, and the speedos at the <laughs> pool <laughs> for sure. Like spread spread eagle. Or? Wow. Yeah, don't know. Well, you know, whatever, whatever. He pretty much gets to do whatever he likes. Um, who are you going, Sammy? Sandor Earl. Are you, bro? Morgan Harper played well in that game. Sandor. Okay. <laughs> Morgan Harper. <laughs> <laughs> We're going Sandor Earl. It was an easy pick for the boys. Elaborations? Or it, wasn't, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy because you're right. He. Um, That's probably one of the best games he played. It was probably, yeah, play. exactly. Yeah. So. Oh, but yeah. that was at wing. Yeah. That we were saying, eh, hey, last yeah. week. Yeah. We probably prefer him at wing. I reckon, I reckon he plays wing for... for, for the Seagulls this year. I think he has to. Because they've got that um, Tolu Kola yeah, coming through yeah. at centre. Now I, I would like to see him on the wing just out of pure a Kiwi aspect because yeah. he's not going to make it in the centres. So Even though we're missing centres at the moment. but Yeah, but I feel like he just won't get enough NRL games there. Right? Exactly. And I just I just think he'd, he'd be very, very good on the wing at the moment just f- just for him personally. And, and also, no, yeah. he, he, unfortunately, he had a bit of a slump last year. If it was found wanting a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, centre's a prick of a position. Oh, she's. Surely it's <laughs> totally the hardest position to play. Defensively. It Defensively. Would be. Mm. That's because mm. like one error is just like a major fucker. Anyway, so we yeah. went um, Sandu Earl. Who? What's our next matchup, mate? This is uh, Tamanatahu v the centres. Yep. Dylan Walker. Ooh. Interesting little uh, mozzie matchup. Yep. Two different dynamics of a centre. Tahu all day for me, bro. 
It's very hard to go past to Manata. Yeah, I yeah. agree too. One, agree of the, one of the greatest players. One of the goats, man. Yeah. One of the best yep. rugby league players we've there's been. Seeing him in that Māori jersey too, doing the haka today was like... It's, it was cool, it's epic actually. Because you always... You'd see him in the Wallabies jersey and the, and the yeah. Kiwis. Yeah. I mean, the um, Kangaroos. It's like, fuck, I hate playing this guy. He's too good. It was good for the Waratahs, eh? When you oh, yeah. yeah. Ball, you know? When you finally got him in your team, it's like, fuck. Here we Imagine go. if we had Daz and old Darren Lockie or someone that could play for us. <laughs> just those annoying Aussies that... They're just always good. Well, Jonathan Thurston, Jonathan Thurston could play. That would have been good to see. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, Other so we're going to Tahu. Pretty no easy, brain, though. No no Sorry, Dills. Clinton Torpy V. Remus Smith. Fuck. I mean, we've got another go here. Yeah, exactly. Another like, go, man. Nothing against Remus Smith, but you, uh, you, you don't have the, the... The runs on the board. Yeah. The in and out, the You don't have the resume oh. yet, unfortunately, but... That's the word, the resume. Nah. Oh, Tupi. Clinton Torpy, man. Mm. He was just weapon. You just got to look at the highlight reel of, of Torp. So C- come doing this exact thing next year, we might be saying something different. Maybe, yeah, maybe. You know? Yeah, and I, I, I like to hope so because I. I, I rate Remus. I think he would definitely be on the World Cup. He's in good hands. He's in a good club. So, and and, and hopefully, Roger you know, that. Roger that. He becomes the centre that the Kiwis needs to. So. We there need some centres, man. Oh We've shit! Always been. Short. I think this this year will be interesting because you've got Timoko, Chris, Remus Smith. Mm. And P. Hicks, Hicks has probably got a couple of years in him still. What about Stafford Tour though? And sure. Stafford Tour, yeah. I don't think he don't, he's not going to really get a crack at fullback. I don't think. Nah. Can we just can we get some some Maldives and somewhere in New Zealand just to breed with some indigenous brothers, females, brothers? just to get us some of those long, <laughs> lanky, you know, yeah. The indigenous yeah, 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 yeah. Aussies always have the long legged, long arm jaggers. Yeah. Just, yeah, rangy pot guts and fast, <laughs> but still, <laughs> but still, still can run. Still eh? yeah, yeah, weapons. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing you. <laughs> Oh. Well, that did happen, but they got out Jonathan Thurston instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just want—we need some big centres, man. Help us out. All right, all right. Kane Money Hitter v Paddy Herbert. Well, oh, the Sherbert for me, just because we actually sorry Kane, but yeah, you done well to make that team, though, brother Kane. Should look up and see what he done. After Should that. actually Google him. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that then. Um, so who do we go against, sir? Paddy Herbert versus. Uh, he went hundies that game Kane. too. Great defensive player. Yep. Body on the line all the time. I like the Schubert. He's probably Sh- just at that. Schubert. Ready to break through the next level. Mm. Mm. Just has to get a, get a good season together. Yep. All right, who yep. else we got? What's Arana Taumata. Bad boy for life. From 210. And we got Chanel harris Tavita. Chanel for me, straight away. I'm not too sure. Mm. I mean, it's not, it's not supposed to be off potential, I guess. One... I can't remember him, to be honest. Yeah. So yep. therefore, my and then to be fair, Ch- Chanel played pretty pretty mean last year. So he did play mean that game. Yeah. It's interesting because they both left the game kind of yeah earlyish, yeah. but because of different reasons. I don't had all the talent in the world, man. Like yeah, just couldn't hold it down. Yeah, just club club to club, man. But yeah. I'd have to go sh- yeah, Chanel as well. Yeah, we'll go Chanel. Loves a good shot too. That's what I like about the oh, guy. He, he Loves to put a shot oh, on. Oh, I love him out of the line. Eh? Just, just body just on the line. <sighs> love it. So good. All right, Shout who's next? Chanel. Uh, Rangi Chase. Oh. Can't get any more mouldier than that, bro. Yeah. Rangi Na- Chase. The name of the lad. And we got him up against Cody Nikorima. Oh, basic, very kind of similar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Players. Mm. Okay. I'm going, going go, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Rangi Chase, just off the level he's been to. Yeah, and I yeah. think it's a hard one because Cody is a good player, but I think in that position he did play well that game though. Mm. But I think in that position, I think Rangi's done more up yep. to that point of his yeah. career. And he was pretty good. And he was good. Yeah, 2010, he was he was pretty good. He was doing some of his best work. So are we all, are we all going with. Uh, I think Honor? that's a consensus vote. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think that's um, Cody Nicodema's position, eh? No, I think he's the world's could be the world's best fourteen. Oh, abs- <laughs> I, yeah. Like yeah. The, the more and more we talk about the the position at fourteen, I'm loving that that's actual uh, genuine position. Genuine now. position these yep. days, eh? You need yeah. one, man. It's not just the extra hooker. Yeah, yeah. it's just you just know? not just an extra hooker anymore. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a certified position. All right, we've got James Tamo. He's a bit of a goat. Number eight. Up That's against Joseph Tarpany. <laughs> oh. Tarpany. I think, you know, it's Tar- hard, man. Tarmo done a lot. Based Tarmo. off Tarps, though, off that game last year. Up well, against Tarmo. I'm going to play it this way, right? He already, he already gets the X against his name because he chose Aussie and New South Wales. 
There you go. Straight off the bat. He gets his down a little bit for me. Whereas Taps has always been 100. I'm Taps all day, bro. 100 Kiwis. And he's, I think he's probably going to be a better player than... Sam loves the Taps too, don't you? Oh, fuck it. I had a good Tap this afternoon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, he's a Tapper. <laughs> Mind the old... You know what's uh, the one, the one finger keyboard? He's a f- he loves it. The old no, I, I got the I got the old two fingers going today, actually. We had, had a few free spins. Two finger? Yeah, because we've got the old um, fireball features that keep getting Oh, in. yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. he's just trying to get through so he can... <laughs> No. Don't tell me you're the one that rubs the screen oh. too and does that. No, don't, don't, please don't. don't. Yes. <laughs> well, it's going out. <laughs> well, so, do, do the love heart on the screen. And yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, Christ. Golly, um, golly it's, guys. It's Joseph Tarpany for me because I just, because Palmerston North is not in New South Wales, James. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, uh, I'm Joseph. Yep. All day. J-Taps, the big tap tap. Okay, okay, here we go. Aaron Hedimeyer v. Aaron Clark. Okay. This is it's, it's, this is t- this is a tough one actually because yeah, you have to breeze through that. Um, it, yeah, well, I know I've gone. I'm going Hedimeyer. He was out, just an outstanding. Yeah, he was hooker. Good. He was very good. Just just grounded. He was very consistent. Out and out hooker. Too. Bring his forwards onto the ball. He was he was just he was he was good man. He almost came out of nowhere at the Warriors. He just kind of appeared yeah. and then you're like, yeah. huh, who's this guy? And he was great. Mm. Aaron Clark had a good year last year. I just don't think he's a. Hooker, hooker. Mm, mm. And going off the impact he might have had on the game as opposed to Aaron, I'd, I'm yeah. swinging towards Aaron. What do you yeah, think, Yeah, I'm, I'm going Aaron too now, just right. just in those thoughts too. Yeah. Hit him eye, gets the nod. You're just buying a proper hooker, you know? Like a, yeah, a, a, yeah. A seasoned yeah, hooker. Yeah. An out and out. Hook. Aaron Clark's good, like, yeah. Does he pass yeah. off the base of the scrum, though? That's all I care about. <laughs> the bull A's. Russell Packer from 2010. Now, is that pre or post? Mummy, <laughs> pre or post mummy? Is that post mummy or? Because that, because that's what how a they, legend, eh? What an absolute, what a and the shake did he? I'm pretty sure he done the shake of the leg. Shake. Well, we're funny if he done the body shakes. That would have been really good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> People give him shit, but I'm like, fuck, I don't care. Man's got to go, man. He's got to go. It's so just about to take the head up. If, you, if you're doing well, that head up, bro, you don't want to be holding that purse, The thing man. is, that Jerry Collins did it, and no one could give a fuck about it when he did it. He I took a knee, did he? He took a knee, though, yeah. That's polite, hey? Yeah. yeah. The he cousin that. is like, ah. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to spread <laughs> this Jerry, leg. The Jerry Collins was very polite. <laughs> but he, Rusty Owens is like, nah, Bob. The thing is, you know, when you're on your one knee, you're quite exposed. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so, I guess, like, yeah. is it is it polite or is it just? So hey, I don't know. Do you hey, know the funniest bit of that whole me. thing? <laughs> is that uh, he done it in the white away strip? <laughs> 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 it was the white pants, unluggy. Um, oh, Uncle Russell, man. Yeah, if you're listening, my brother. Hey, I didn't say happy that. to have you on. So if I see you in real person, I'm not laughing at that. No, nah, yeah. You know, when you need to go, you need to go, and I don't. Right. I rate that. Yeah, I've got no problem with it. I think. Nah. It's Power to him. So done on that, anyway. Done a few sure, power sure, bottles. Surely it's been pissing down the rain and someone's fucking done a piss. Oh, but 100%, yeah. It's just like, um, like sorry, I said the other week with Jazz, like, I pissed myself, but it wasn't, I wasn't meant to. <laughs> <laughs> Take that hit up. I actually literally pissed myself. Oh, bro. Yeah, it wasn't great. Um, anyway. Oh, sorry for you, man. So we've got Russell Pack. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I already wrote him down. We haven't got past Russell Pack. Russell Pack v. James Fisher Harris. And that's post mummy Russ as well. Um, the fish, well, you know, he's almost an instant entry. Yeah, oh, I think he's going to be he's, he'll be labelled New Zealand's greatest forward. Yeah, so oh. so oh, just the consistency he's playing at, yep. unbelievable. He's humble. He's got biceps the size of fucking oh oh, I don't know, big things, big, big things, things. Yeah, the boulders on him. He's yeah. got boulders. Oh, he's he's got a nice. Intimidating, angry Look. face too, man. Yeah, like but he's, he's he's so nice when he talks. Oh, I imagine he is. It, yeah, but he's just got that, you know, like I demand respect. He's got the hooky younger <laughs> hunger. <laughs> yeah. the hooky younger hunger. Yeah. Um, yes, the fish. I'd be happy if that was my dad, <laughs> and I got a hiding in a party. <laughs> be gutting if that was like the girl you're dating. You tuned up to their house and oh, that was yeah, a dad. No, eh? no. This is my dad. What would be epic? What would be epic? What would be epic if he if he if he had those um those dreadlock mullet? Dreadlock mullet. Oh, yeah, shit, that'd be loose. Like, I'd be just like, ooh. Check on a wife beater. That's the fish. Some leather pants. That's straight once a warrior's. And a big line you know, red bottle. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the fish. Yep. Future Kiwi's captain. Yep. I'll be, I'll be, well, I would not be surprised if he's not the captain this year. Yeah. Let's get him a statue too up in Hokianga. To all those ones listening up in Hokianga. Next to Kupe and that, that yeah. newer centre. Let's like get him a statue, I reckon. Kupe and then Fisher Harris. I think he's going to be that type of player. He deserves one, so. Watch the space. Like we could make one. Mm. I've Let's got that. Um, 
I've got some plaster of Paris at home. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could use me as the, I guess, as the... Oh, we could use that on you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just a short and compact version, eh? We couldn't afford the, the proper size. <laughs> It's like the figures on top of the wedding cake, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, son. The old James Fisher Harris of Wish. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do we go him though? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. James yeah. Wisher Harris. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old order. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> James Wisher Harris. Yes. All right. Um, Wella Hauraki, number eleven, second <laughs> row, the big unit, versus Kenny Bromwich. K Brom. Yeah, I'd have to go K Brom. Yeah, me too. That was easy. Sorry, Weller. Yeah. Justin Huro. The skipper skip. Skip. Goat. Against Britain Nakoda. Oh. Fuck, I reckon that's actually a bit tighter, eh? Because like, the bro was actually pretty mean back in the day. He's pretty good. I think he was a, just a beast duck of getting a Kiwi jersey a couple of times. Mm, mm. Um, and it's not off what they can be either. Yes, yeah. Because, like, Brinton's, like, only starting to, like, kind of rev up. Yeah. The bro had all the tools, too, and the cat, like, Good bit of footwork is that you know he's able to evade. Yeah, the skipper he could run a line in that. Fuck, it's a hard one. He was on a good. Was it? Yeah, he was, he was on a good bloody Eels um, team. Yeah, and Manly. He was outside Fozzer at Manly. That's right. Yeah. Jeez, anyone can oh. play second row outside Foz, Jeez. Jules. Nah. nah, just joking. I go Nakota. Just. I, I think, think naturally, naturally he's just a bit more talented. Yeah. Sorry, Skip. What yep. do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a. And he's it, pretty good looking, so. Nikora. <laughs> Nikora's better looking. Check down yep. Big Britain. Yep. So Nikora gets the vote purely because he's better looking gets than Justin, tick. Gets Justin tick. Hoddle. Um, all right. P. Nikora. Sorry, I skip, but you'll probably understand. It'd be funny yeah. if, it, like, if we talk to these all star guys and they're like, you guys need to stop talking to us like that because, you know. What have you done? Like, yeah. Just a disclaimer, I've done fuck all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm talking to them about, about how, how, how they're good looking and stuff Oh, yeah, like yeah. Oh, yeah. Good yeah, stuff, yeah. 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 Although, yeah. you know, they might find it a little bit weird, but. Yeah. We don't mind a bit of banter, fuck, and give us some shit back. We don't mind. Just, you know. I come from a pretty, I've got a big line of awards, though, just FYI for anyone out there. Oh, yeah. The amount of midgets and. Uh, midgets, yeah. Under I six, once under won, seven. I won the gold kicking cup at United Men of Sports, so I'll take that on. <laughs> I think I got the most records for the. Um, What's it called? Most improves. I got that probably every year, I think. What, most. what about the most mummy pants? Mummy pants? Uh, I've probably got that too. <laughs> <laughs> got the golden shower that year. <laughs> golden shower award. All right, number 13. Last man. Big Jazz. Jazzy T. Vaga. And Bodine Thompson. That's actually quite hard. The chin. Ooh, he did have a bit of a chin on him, eh, old just Bodine? The big jaw, right? Yeah, just the, the big jaw, mm. yeah. I'd say he'll better, good he'll better chew a good solid steak, Bowden. Yeah. Bowden, Bowden. However you say it. Um, I go with the brother Jez every day of the week. I mean, Jez is very good. But Bowden was good too. He was back then too. He was a... Shit, that, tiger? Was he Tiger? Tiger, and then he was at the Waz as well. That's right. Was he quite good at the Waz? He was good at the Waz, yeah. Um, Mobile, man. He's good. Big boy, mobile skills. Look, it's tough. It's a tough. It's a Look, tough it's one. It's tough. Just gotta make. Just gotta make the tough decisions mm, sometimes. Mm. What do you want that one? Or oh uh, yeah, I have the Foxy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go Jazzy. Jazzy and you went Jazzy. Eh? I went Jazzy. Yep. Jazz T Vaga. The bloody bugger. I wonder how um his um things going. With his injury. Yeah. Recovery. Yeah. Hopefully good because it'll be good to see him. Yeah, in definitely. Arms, yeah. All right, who we got at Are 14, we running the mate? Rizzies? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Got to run the bench. Isan. V. Jeremy Smith. Oh. Oh. And Luggy. And Luggy. Jay, Jay Smith straight in there. Jay Smith, another goat. Jay Smith was so good. Jeremy Smith was so good. It's like, I love Jeremy Smith. It's like he was on hero in every game, eh? He was just like a full on. Mad Kent. It was, it was nuts. I loved it. Like, it was just... Fuck, I just hearty ass yeah. as well. Yeah, man. Sure, just I love watching him. Didn't stop. Just hard carrying. He was just in the greatest... He was in, you know, one of the greatest teams of all time, too, in that yeah. system. With yeah. all those greats. Yeah, for sure. So he could... But you need play. Yeah, and they need players like him in teams yeah. like that, eh, yeah. you know? And then you put him in a team like that, everyone's like, who's this guy? It's like, well, he's in the best team at the moment, so... All right. Well done, Jeremy. I've uh, got Kevin Proctor. The Kieran Proctor. 
Uh, Royce, Royce, Royce Hunt. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kev. Halftime vape, vape versus Royce Hunt. Straight off the bat, I know Kevin done a lot in the game, but Royce Hunt is an absolute weapon. Yeah. I just love the way he plays. I'm going to go R Hunt. Just off that. I'm going Proctor, man. Fuck, I've got a decider here. I he mean, was, he, he played a lot of tests for the then. Kiwis, bro. Yeah. yeah. No, he's mm. got a very good resume. He was solid. Um, I think I I think just on the on the yeah back of I'm I'm going Royce Hunt as well. Ah, uh, Hunt. Yep. I that, well, that will get some tongues wagging, I reckon. Mm. Just it will, it will. But so we, we we only reason I say Royce Hunt now is probably because I'll pick Kevin Proctor for the next next. Oh, okay. He's thinking matchup. about it. Yeah. Okay. Who's the next matchup? Sam McKendry. Robati, TC Robati. I'm going the big Sammy. Sammy. Yep. yep. He was the man. Easy. Penrith. Louis Brown v Proctor. So I put Proctor, th- and that's why I saved it for Proctor, because I think just in the terms of Royce Hunt, Dynamics, and th- and Lewis Brown, Proctor at the same time. I'm going Lou Brown. I think he I can. I kind of have to go Lou Brown. You do? I've already chose Brocky. Oh, oh no, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. Matter. Actually, okay. Well, in that case, okay. This is my case for Lewis Brown. One, okay. He can play centre. He's got the rig of doom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two, big nose. That it's does have. It's a must have. Give us a side profile, of yours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty big. Um, big nose, good rig. Had the baby blue eyes as well. Yeah, piercing, eh? Piercing. And he was actually good at football. He was fucking good at football. He was very good. I think he was one of the best bench players in that genera- in that yep. year, in that yeah. kind of the Canterbury jersey era. Yep. When had yeah. The Canterbury Fuck jersey. He was good he off the bench. He, he, could go, he could plug in at centre. Oh, he'd probably run 5'8". Yeah. Hocker, lock, second row. He had a good few years, man. I he won't Pro- be having yeah. a vape in the toilet. Yeah. So, so obviously I picked Proctor in the, in the basis of in that positional situation. He yeah. was great. For for yep. for Maori all sides that and and that's why he cl- sort of eclipsed my decision at you know over no, fair time. enough yep. fair enough yep so I've gone with um I've gone with Louis Al Brown just off that bench we got a we got a bit of firepower but we also need some uh, look at that that's what a menacing bench you got Lewis Brown at f- he'd probably play fourteen not Jeremy Imagine Smith him running yeah. sniffing yeah. around the rocks yeah, Jeremy Smith Royce Hunt and Sam McKendry having a young niff eh he'll have a niff <laughs> have a niff of that I enjoy that actually. It's good. All right, so we'll rattle off the team. So in fullback, we've got Kevin J. Locke. <laughs> Just some money. Mate, what? Kevin Locke. Go, Kevy. Winger, we've got Sandor Earl. Centre, Tamana Tahu. Mm-hmm. Other centre, Clinton Torpy. Imagine go. that combination. Let's go. Five, Patty Herbert. Oh, I love mm-hmm. City. Herbert. Six, Chanel Harris Tavita. Big hits. Seven, Rangi Chip and Chase. Eight, Joseph Tarpany. Nine, Aaron Hidamaya. Ten, James Fisher Harris. Eleven, Kevin Brom. Kevin? Kenny. 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 Kevin. <laughs> Come on, Lenny. Shit. K Brom. <laughs> um, Brisson Nikorda at on the other second row. Thirteen is Jazz Tivaga. Fourteen, Jeremy Smith. Fifteen, Royce Hunt. Sixteen, Sam McKendry. Seventeen, Louis Brown. Just to preface this, I'll probably put Louis Brown in the graphic tomorrow at fourteen and just shuffle him down. Yeah. Get older. Yeah. Because someone will be like. I'd have Jeremy Smith at 14. Yeah, Jan. Jan will be like, they spelled Segment wrong. <laughs> That's a good team. It's a good team. It's a bloody good team. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Would have right. loved to have seen it. There's a few players in there I've not kind of forgotten about, but yeah. Yeah. I guess basically yeah. forgotten about. Um, cool, it's good. That's why it's cool doing that. Love yeah. that segment. All right. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have. Uh, oh, no. I was going to do Dre, but I think we've got our Insta ham. Forgot to write that up on the board. Now Instagram questions. So I'll rattle those off. Once I bring it up, these will be predominantly off the cuff. Shoot from the hip. Straight from the hip. Never tell them. Cut to the chase. Never tell them. Where is it? So we've got oh, any part ties. Okay. Not not as many as Jazz's episode, which is you know, expected. There's only about 100, but we can't go through all of them, Farno. So we've just picked <laughs> out these three. Select <laughs> select few. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, this is coming from just 10 underscore B25. Is the All-Star game worth going now since there's only 
since there's only all without all stars. So it's ba- oh, so basically, it's so worth going now since there's no stars. Well, if go. you if you have the question that do not come because we're going because we love. Well, there you go. So, great point, Sammy. Yep. Rugby league, rugby league, man. It's good to have more games in the country. So yeah, I believe. I, but I get what he's saying. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Yes and no. But yeah, I know. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, yeah. I get what he's saying. But then I was always, I would always go regardless. As I mentioned from the start too, when are you going to watch live? You know, the Indigenous War Cry. Yeah. Absolutely. See the Maori, oh. and that yeah. Maori haka is heartier than just you know your oh, Kiwi or Maori haka. Sport, it's sporting haka. I, 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 I it's think it's, 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 it's a bit more than the game itself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 100 percent. You know, yeah. so that's you know, it's oh boy, Fox oh. City. Oh. So that's why it's worth Great. going, my bro. Yep. So get along easy, there, just easy 10. money, easy, easy money. money, just ten underscore B twenty five. I've had a few people actually ask me, oh, is, is it worth, you know how much is it? I was like, it's pretty cheap. He goes, oh man, she go, well, we'll buy the fucking ticket and go because it's going to be it's going to be an awesome night, man. Yep. All right. Thank you, Just Ten. This is from Shea Pedro. Top try scorer for 23. So I think we play it two ways. First way, we play it um, Kiwi player, mm. and then we can say overall. Yep. Okay. Top try scorer I've got, I've got, 23. I've got to remember what I, who I said. We, we've, we've, we've talked we've about it. We've done it. We've done it. I was thinking about this today, so I'm going to put it out there. I reckon, I think it won't be as a popular opinion, but... The Tigers are in for a better year, and I see Ken Mamalo getting a few more. Mm. It's a stretch, but I think the big Kenworth could be up there. Big Kenworth. I reckon okay. De- Dylan for me. Dylan Watani. I was weighing up, Dylan. Are we doing Kiwis? For the doing Kiwis, Kiwis, yeah. Kiwis yeah. first, yep. Yellow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, Dylan. Who am I going to yeah. go? Manu Vatuva. Who am I going to go? I want to feed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so geez, I'm, this, I'm on the spot here. Johnny I'm just on the trying spot. Trying to think of outside outside backs, Kiwis. Who have we got? Oh, so you got Ronaldo. Can I change? Can I change mine? Molly Dallo. You got Dallin. Mm, mm. Who's the Bulldogs outside? Adoka. You've got Joseph Manu. Jay Manu. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's top try scorer. Ain't, ain't that the truth? <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna get Joe Manu hard. Yeah. Oh, it depends. Where they're gonna play him? No, nah, centre. Centre, definitely centre. Oh, of course, yeah. He'll follow him when Teddy's doing pain in New South yeah. Wales, though. Fuck, I reckon, it's gonna, I reckon he's going to be setting up a no, shitload of tries more than anything, Joe. Because um, Kerry and um, Sam Walker might also be included in that, so he might end up playing on, in, in the Six. halves. Yeah, true. So, True, true, true. So I don't, I don't think I will go Joey. I think he's going to be doing a lot of offloads and a lot of try assists, to be fair, in yeah. the centres. I'm, oh, it's, it's, I'm finding it pretty hard, mate. I'm finding it quite hard. <laughs> Yeah, probably Ronald. Just go Ronald. He's a good finisher. Great finisher. The Sharks have... Do you know the Sharks are pretty much the exact same Yeah, team? yeah. Yeah, well, that's all. That's, that's, that's bonus crazy. Right there. And they played mean last year. They should have probably... I mean, I got a good bet in when they didn't get that final. Yeah, but that's <laughs> true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but they should have... Looks like they had that locked up. But anyway. Um, and then my overall... I, I reckon Adokar gets the top dog award. Over, Bulldogs over. are looking good, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, sure, on that fucking edge... Yeah, you, Stiffies. Yes. you got Burton, the squad, Kakao, and then and then in he's the, gonna be on that the wing. Fox. Oh, fuck. but then even in the middle they got Marnie. They yeah. Got, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, that's. I think it might be the year to finally start Dogs ticking the boxes. They got the big Willie Mason. I, I watched it in the kennel, man, on YouTube. It's yeah. real good. That's yeah. good, eh? It's 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 done enough to get my uh, get little your bit attention. Of yeah. So Overall try scorer, top try scorer. Mm. Now listen. Um. Yeah, it's pretty hard to go past the Fox. Just trying to think who I... Because like, it depends. I think... No. Because Alex Johnson, oh, I, I thought about him. Yeah. He's like the safe bet. Eh? He's a safe bet, but I, I, I don't... Say, th- but with the team that Rabbi, the Rabbitohs have this year, I don't see him being as, hey. you know... He's still got Cody in the trail, though. Mm. Yeah, but... but He's on the end of that left edge. Yeah. I'm going to go Alex Johnson. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hello. Alex Johnson. Sweet is. <laughs> <laughs> the hell sweet is at the end. <laughs> oh, not sweet is. <laughs> oh, look, I might even go Sivo, eh? Sivo. 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 He'll start running over Jagers again. And knocking people out. Jeez. I can see the Eels having another good year. Oh, who's, your, who's your Kiwi one? K Brom, uh, uh, Kenny, K Brom, <laughs> Mamalo, Ken Mamalo, oh, Ken, Ken Mamalo. Mm. The big Kenworth. I think Tigers got a way better team than they had last year. Yeah, 
Yeah. So I'm thinking he'll be getting over for a couple more. I really hope Kim Muller has a good year because he, ever since he left the Warriors, he's he's become like a pretty good player for the West Tigers, and I really want him to see him, see him back in that. It's just hard because yeah. he's at the Tigers, so yeah. just, just like being, like I don't want to say the Warriors are better than the Tigers, but yeah. it's the same sort of thing. You yeah. know, you've got to actually be extreme, be playing extremely well to get noticed in those sort of teams. Yeah, it sucks, eh? Yeah, so if you're on the end, if you're a winger, especially if you're on the end of a good system, geez. Could he yeah. could, could he be a player that could transition to centre? Not not or not really. He's, he's more of a. Do you reckon he's got the quick pace, like the boom bang? He's got a little bit of quick footwork. Yeah, yeah I, th- I thought he'd bring it into his game about three or four years. Is it just that hard carry? Yeah, just yeah a he started doing a little shimmy. Yeah, a lot of them were doing it at the Warriors. He's a big boy. I think Tui Vasa Chick may have given him some, but he randomly started doing it. So yeah, I reckon he he could. He's got the obviously he's big enough. It's just about his passing. Obviously, he doesn't. Yeah. Have to, he doesn't have to pass. He has to be a good passer, right? Yeah. And you're d- yeah. defensively, you have to be on, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, same with winger, but centre's just like so much more like yeah important to like make the right yeah, decision. Yeah, definitely. You're that one guy that can make your winger look silly. Hey, if you do that one little rush or just turn that shoulder, man. Or well, yeah. if you're Peter Hicker, you can just make your winger look fucking brilliant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, yep. who's his winger? Felt. Peter Hicker will have. Kyle no. Felt Cowboys. No, he's uh, is Felt still oh, running around. Yeah, yeah, he's he's on the he's on the other wing though. No, no, no. Tabby Fido w- was on that wing, wasn't it? Fido's gone nah, to the Fido's Dolphins. Gone to now. He's gone to the Dolphins, but though. he was on the bench for most of the year. Fuck, he was too. It was Felt. It was Felt. Sorry, and then, uh, on, it was on old right uh, side. Tuilangi was a left. Yeah, Tuilangi was oh, left. That's right. Yeah, that's actually, Tuilangi. Yeah, yeah, Val Holmes, Tuilangi, Peter Hicker, Tuilangi, son. Yeah, the two Kuros on the other right, old hip. Up the back. The but hip, I think the their left. Flick. I think the only thing with that is that their left was their favourite sort of big move side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they said, nothing doing, give it to Kip Pitt. Big chatty running the cutter. Was Valentin <laughs> Holmes better for the Sharkies than he is the Cowboys? I can't even mean year last year. I don't know. Uh, he, like, um, that, that year that they won the grand final, because he was playing full. Yeah, that was probably mm. when he was at the peak of his powers. He though. was fucking unreal. He was man. very good, yep. I'd say, yeah, he's probably better at the Sharks. I Just reckon too, um, because, then, because yeah. he's playing fullback too. But then this yeah. year, I think, because he kind of was fuddling around a little bit when he came back from NFL, it took him a yeah, a it took him a couple, get, uh, yeah, yeah. couple of seasons. But then yeah. last season was like, well, what the really fuck? But, shit, but shit, he was good for Origin, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God, he was he was sensational, actually. He got his mojo back for sure, big Val. Bit of Mouldy in him too, I believe. Yep, yep. Cook Island, Mouldy. Has he played for the Māori All Stars? No. Nah. No. Nah. Uh, uh, put your hand up, Kurt. But to my Māori belt. Is it is it is it too much of a Mozzie kit? In like, kit. I don't think he has much connection to that side. Yeah, I remember True. him saying that in an interview oh, right. when he came over here with the Kangaroos. But yeah. Oh, well, oh, fair enough. Fair What's enough. our next part tie, bro? Oh yeah, sorry. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Let me look. This is from that Kiwi punter. He's always good for a question or two. Two can. Not Check a right question, up. but a thought. You guys should shoey a crafty each pod. <laughs> Fuck sakes I mean The plus side of that Is a crafty is quite strong So you probably Don't taste the toe jams As much mm-hmm. And we're uh, cu- currently We're in jandal So Very hard to do it Through a jandal okay, You could probably do like Oh a, you could like Yeah like like, 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 a, like a shelf effect You know I don't know You just could put it at the start sl- and then Slide it down Through the toe jam and <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe maybe not No Sorry Kane It's a solid no Sorry Kane You can do it yourself So those were the three questions um, That we've picked Sweet. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, we'll do that later. But we'll move on to the best bet. So if you're having, it's hard. It's hard to know for sure because we haven't got the team list. But if you're having a bet this weekend on the game, what would it be? Okay. So for me, I'd go. What do I usually bet? I'm a 13 plus jugger, aren't I? You're usually a margin guy when you pick yeah, all the head to heads I'm correctly. A, yeah, so I'm I, go, go, going off what I said for the um my my prediction. Yes. Um. So it's one to twelve. Multi all stars. One to twelve. Side bet because I love my side bets. <laughs> I reckon Latrell gets a double. Trail times two. Trail mint because of the back line situation and him coming in. He might be a bit underdone because he got arrested for a night, but yeah, but he might he might be looking to wrestle some fucking Kiwis, mate. He might have got a bit of bit of wrestle in the cells, yeah. And then he's like, "I'll take that to the field." So yeah, trail mitt two times plus Maldi's one to twelve. A double a, 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 a,
What do you reckon? Double Holmes? run a double. Telling the people to have a bet on the game. What are they doing? Multi one and twelve as well. Oh yeah, okay. But I'm like the bro. I'm, I'm a bit greedy. I like to. You got to give the value to the people. Got to spice up the multi. Yep. Um, and we'll have um, first try, uh, first conversion not successful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> first conversion. Just pray for that corner try, my bro. <laughs> the old rust, eh? That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> we got any if they go under the post. Oh yeah. <laughs> Still miss today. Eh? There we crack up. All right, so I'm going to go multi 13 plus. Predicting a, a white wash. No, brown wash. Brown wash. <laughs> you got a little something to spice that up, mate? You got a bit of pepper? Of course I do, of course. I'm going the fish anytime mm. with a little bit of, a couple of $2 on the first for the fish. First try. First try for fish, just running, gonna, that, I'm gonna running throw a I'm short line. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, when, the, when the teams get announced and all the things, I'm going to throw a same game multi out there. Yep. Okay. Yep. Send so it through, and I put it on the yeah. on the on the so Insta- I'll, I'll Instagram. I'll make sure I'll throw the same game also um, out there. I do love. Them. I do. Yeah. A forward scoring. Yeah. That's a, that's great. Fish any great time. value as well. Great odds. I think they'd just be punishing them up the mid. Yeah. And just no disrespect to the indigenous team, but yeah, I just can't see anyone in their forward pack aiming up to taps or fish. Taps or fish, <laughs> bro. Oh, I mean they will at the start. Who's our hooker going to be? Doc. Doc and Clay. Yeah, yeah. Doc. So yeah, we fine. He's he's conditioned. This condition, like you could be, he knows the drill. Just got to pass the ball to the big boys. He's a solid. He's pretty nuggety too, eh? And like I've weighed the thing is the thing is I was weighing up fish or yeah. taps for any time and the first. Yeah. So I just it'll be taps brain. I'll just pop over. He'll he'll have three on him. Three on him. So I'm just all weighing it up. Pop it over to Docker. Short bang. Okay. That's your man, fish. Yep. All right, fish any time. We all catching fish. Out wide, misses the first conversion. Plus two <laughs> bucks. <laughs> two bucks first try scorer for the fish. He's found himself right on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing an end on oh no, Sean Fitzpatrick. Sean Fitzy. <laughs> one thing I think we should do next week is, um, well, the next one is, is obviously a, a union player we would have loved to have seen. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a good that's play. A good bit little, of, play a bit of league. Little, the greatest right. game in the world. Shit, shit, I'm all about that No, one. you know what I should do? I mean that's great. We'll do that, but we should also do like a um, ultimate ABs like Kiwis team. Mm, mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Of like, you know, obviously we won't get too far back for the All Blacks because we can't really remember. But I probably could. You could, but I don't mean <laughs> like don't, not to black and white. Yeah. That'd be great. Bring old George Nipia back into the team, brother. <laughs> you know. Mm. Oh, Tana Umang is like instantly in because he played a lot of league. Pretty whips. On Sunday, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, and there would have been plenty. Patoni, eh? There would been plenty nah, back in the day. Why no matter? They would have done that too, eh? Plenty. Of yeah, hundred. Oh, Sunny Bull won't get a start. Even you can even um, digress ever so slightly no, and, and do the converts. You know the ones that went and played league. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they done both. You know, you know the Mark Ellis, the cool ones, all of them. The cross you know? coders, the, the Brad Thorns, Ennis, you know, Thorn. There's some greats out there, man. A great thing to watch is actually. Um, John Kerwin's interview with Monty Beetham on that Once a Warrior. Yes, yes. Great. I cut it. Seen Your it. heritage jersey. Great insight into him like being all black and then coming at the time <laughs> and coming in <laughs> coming into the Warriors fold. There was, yeah. JK. What a man. Right. Um So it turns out, what's your fantasy? It's not coming on. But that's right. That's what happens. It's okay. So we'll edit it up. But anyway, um, I'm sure I might get Dre just to drop in a little vid. Yeah, because you got to get the people what they want, and they, they people want, want some it. of that. They want see their bloody fantasy. We even got a new song lined up for you, bro. Dre, that's a that's a box. That, he's that's gonna be punished box. day on the that's weekend. A box. That's a box and a hundred birthdays. Obviously, if something bad's happened, sorry, my bro. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I'll let's check the full let's message. But <laughs> let's put him through some punishment anyway. That's a box and a hundred birthdays at F45 on Saturday. I will watch you at F45 in Rotorua. On Saturday, because I won't be fucking... 100 beers and 100 Oh, yeah, big shout-out to F45 Rotorua for letting us, you know, go for a jam. We're going to have a little sweat up, the boys. Yeah, Some of look us. out, look out. Sammy's going to make sure we're all... Hydrated. Hydrated, yeah. Hydrated. Because <laughs> I'll be dehydrated from the night before, so... <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon it'll be weird? Because you'll probably wear sunnies in there. I don't know, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, fuck it. To be fair, I might even... I'll, He'll I'll be in there helping out with a bit of technique with the ladies, probably. Hey, 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 get out of here. <laughs> Just, mm-hmm. yeah. Who's this guy? Get him out of here. No, no. Not with no, us. no, no, because they don't have bench, bench press in there, so... I oh, can't... Yeah, yeah, so... Can't spot on the bench, yeah. Not those ones. Oh, I'll, yeah. see, I'll see how I go. Uh, no undies with this, the bench press spot. No undie with the spot. 
Get the, those old, those, those V cut fucking. The V cuts, yeah, the old, the old runners. I'll see how I go. If I, if I pull up a right at 6.45, no, 6.45, no, I'll be asleep, sorry. That's fine, mate. Yeah. We'll meet you at breakfast. We'll yeah. meet you at Bricky. We'll meet you at Bricky. Just have my coffee the ready. boys yeah. are G'd up. We want to get our endorphins. Just have my coffee ready, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what are you? What are you? A fucking chai latte or something? No, just straight cap, straight cap chalk. Okay, so okay, easy Off man. Again. Straight cap of chalk. Um, but don't forget, Ruck and more one pm. We'll be doing a live potty. Come and see us man. at the pub. Yeah. Um, there'll be a few hoi ho running around probably. Um, but yeah, just come down, have a beer with the lads, say hello to us, um, yell at us, whatever. You can yeah. even get. You can even get on the podcast, like I said, if you. Yeah. If you're half decent. Even if you're an ex player that played one test for the Kiwis or any, you know, had a bit of NRL, just come down, man. You only had one game for the NRL. That'll do. Even if you're Isaac Luke's brother. Yep, yeah. yeah. Even Twice yeah. removed. I don't know, somewhere, you know. Mm. Just if you if you got some yarns, we'll we'll fucking say we'll Rack and more one yeah, PM will be there. Doing a live live version of this. And uh, I know one of the boys from the Sindo is going to be there, so Cheddar Sindo. Oh, uh, so we've already got one extra person. Yeah, so he, he'll jump in. He's, he's, a, he's a fucking humdinger of a wild supporter, so. Oh, good man. Oh, mate, upgrade. So Get rid of this bloody Roosters yeah. supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Ship him out, get a Warriors one in there. No, all good. Well, thanks for jumping on, lads. Uh, it's been another cracker of an episode. Um, if you're out and about in Rotorua, um, give us flick us a DM or whatever if you want to catch up. But yeah, get down to the Ruck and Mall. Um, see you at the game. If you see us at the game, um, I apologise <laughs> <laughs> in advance. <laughs> there yeah. may or may not be nudity involved, so we'll just not from me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe from Sam. But not from me. <laughs> so great, great end of the episode. We'll see you next week. Later, boy. Chamori, 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 Chamori,